in here. Uh, I know I'm making a lot of videos uh, in the last couple days. It's a, I don't know, got nothing better to do, maybe. So, making videos. Rambling on. Uh, giving a shout out to a couple of the guys I hang out with. Tony uh, definitely gets a shout out, and so does Warren. And, and uh, also Katie. They're some of my players, but they do, you know, they're good friends. So, come here. This is my tactical Pomeranian. He is an attack dog. Not really. He wouldn't bite anything. This is my little Pomeranian. He's my buddy. That's why I got that shirt that says, Come to the dark side. We have Pomeranians. Alright, buddy. He's strutting. <laughs> so, um, balance uh, in Edge of the Empire. I was a little bit worried, I'm not going to lie, that when Force and Destiny come out, that, that the Jedi would just be, you know, massively powerful compared to characters made with the other books. Um, play has shown that that is wrong. A character with a good bolt rifle and some skills to back it up can easily kill a Jedi. I mean, I didn't even, I was actually surprised by that. But if you got, say, a scout or, or assassin and he's got a heavy bolt rifle with a bipod and a scope, he sees the Jedi at 100 yards, that's pretty much a dead Jedi. Unless he runs. I mean, Jedi do have power not to take away from, from that. And in melee combat, if they've got a lightsaber, I mean, that's some serious business. They probably w would win the fight. So, depends though, because a Wookiee or a Gamorrean with a Vibro Axe, that, that's a threat. I mean, maybe not as good as a lightsaber, but it'll still do the job. So, the reason that come up is we started talking about gadgeting different things, upgrading different things. One of the characters in the group is a uh, gadgeteer. So, you know, she's talking about different things she can put on her rifle or pistol, you know. And uh, <clears throat> it caused the whole conversation to happen about lightsabers. I mean... What can a uh, blaster rifle do that a lightsaber can't? And the answer is kill an enemy at 100 yards. <clears throat> so, yeah, the balance is there. I, I was worried, but the balance is there. And like I said, you can have a lightsaber if, if a big angry Wookiee with, with four or five brawl comes after you with that vibro axe, you better hope he misses. Because if he hits, there's a good chance that you're going down. So, yeah. Still looking at the books. Still. Still learning. I mean, there's a lot of rules here. I mean, the universal rule is super easy. Once you get your head around the dice, it's super easy, but there's some depth here, too, um, where your character can can change himself in ways to make, make him more unique. And that's the thing. Uh, I've got six players. None of their characters are, are really the same. Even Two of them are the same class and specialization, and they're still different. 
because one guy put uh, raised his um, agility and the other guy didn't. So the skills are totally different. Um, I like that. I like that a lot. See, customization and modification. You could easily see forearm, marksman's barrel. I mean, it's not e it's not easy to do this. I mean, it takes a uh, hundred credits and time, and you've got to win against a hard challenge. So three purple dice. The news on that though is that your your uh, gadgeteer gets certain bonuses to uh, yeah where is he there's technicians so digging through the book right here I don't know if you can see it but I've got it smuggler no hired gun bodyguard nope Hired gun. Explore scout. Nope. Fringer. Nope. Nope. Colonist. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's a good. What are you trying to do? Okay, bounty hunter, assassin. Gadgeteer. The Gadgeteer has skills that will help him or her, because in this case it's a female player, that will help her uh, handle those mod checks. So, you know, they're already tough. You can, let's see, add one weapon armor. Yeah, deadly accuracy. Yep. So within that specialization, there are things that help mod weapons and armor. So that's that's pretty good. The uh, I still just like looking through these books. I mean, they're just so nice. So nice. Stormtrooper with a heavy Stormtrooper with a heavy uh, blaster rifle. Nobody wants that. That guy's rolling two yellows and a green. Or some crazy thing like that. I mean, that's and it's base 10, which means if he's successful, you're going to take 11. If he crits you, forget about it. You know, and he could. That guy could very easily take a person right out of a combat. You know, just boom. You know, because uh, I say you know a lot, because your average guy has like 12 to 14 health. Granted, you got your soak to help, but if this guy unloads on you and rolls good. You're going to be uh, laying on the ground, bleeding out, hoping your friends can come and save you. That's what's going to happen. And uh, it's not necessarily a fun place to be. At all. Yeah. I'm looking for my stormtrooper right there. Let's see what he's got going on. He's got 15 wounds and 5 soak. Three and a half of his. All right, let's see. He's got ranged heavy two. So yeah, he's rolling two yellows and a green. This guy's a beast. <laughs> he's got a one-time use uh, where you can upgrade the difficulty of all attacks against him. Or someone else. 
let's see, even the minions, the minions are rolling three dice, all green, but still, they don't get any skill points with it, so, Stormtrooper Sergeant is, is a mess. I like looking through the monsters. So, yep, yeah, looking forward to the to this Saturday to the game. It's a good book. If you got the money, you should buy it. That's what I'm saying. It's really neat. I like these uh, books a lot. I keep saying that. <laughs> I'd be like, what else can we talk about? Drink chair wine. I will, of course, be receiving nothing for uh, advertising this drink, except that I get to drink it. soda. Good stuff. Yeah. I gave away a few things to a couple friends. I had uh, all the Memoir 44 stuff I gave to my friend Mike. He really loves that stuff and I'm pretty sure he can get his father-in-law or brother-in-law to play with him. I I played Memoir 44 pretty hardcore for a while and uh, just, I don't know, just realized I was never going to play it again. It's that season, you know, the Christmas season and whatever. So, just give it to him. I mean, say that's one present I don't got to buy because I've known Mike for, you know, over a decade. So, then other friend come over and I gave him the extras of the D20 Modern books I have. Because a while back a friend of mine was kind of strapped for cash and he sold me a long box like a, for comics full of role playing books. Uh, for it was pretty cheap too. Like I don't know why I gave him actually at this point. I think it was like 50 bucks. but And I had like three Core books for D20, a modern, and two of every other book, you know. So, you know, give, give it away to one of my buddies. He'll like it. Um, yeah. That's about it. I need to, I've been so wired up about, you know, playing Star Wars that it's, uh, hard for me to think about anything else, you know, so I'm probably going to cut this one short, and quite possibly take a couple days to figure out something worth talking about, instead of me just rambling about Star Wars, you know, I must be sounding like a broke record, but yeah, that's it, so we're going to close it off, and me and my Tactical Pomeranian are going to go look for something to eat. If you like it, if you didn't like it, comment. Uh, give me your thoughts on things, how things should go. I mean, uh, I, I initially created this site so that I could uh, rip off other people's good ideas. Or not the site, but the, the channel. And uh, I'm recording on a, a old Kodak, but I think it does pretty well, this old Kodak. I don't think you can buy them anymore, but it, it saves everything to a, a solid state drive SSD card, which can hold an hour's worth of conversation. Um, so, pretty lucky there, because we had it laying around the house forever. And, I took a look at it and I was like, oh, look, yeah, this thing works. So that's why my early videos are all like slideshows. And later they become 
you know, pictures of me. So, anyway, good gaming. May your 20 side dice always roll 20. I have one that lets me know. I don't know where to put it though. It was, oh, yeah, here we go. Yeah, it's a, it's a 20 side die. And when it rolls a 20, come on. Yeah, it starts flashing. Pretty neat. I mean, it works. You can roll it. It's just when that 20 pops up, it gives you the whole thing. Yeah. So. I'll probably be trying to think of something good to talk about the next time I come on the video. Uh, I don't know how long that'll be, but like I said, roll 20s, uh, have fun with whatever game you're playing. Remember, it's just a game. And uh, shout out, say stuff, comment. We can uh, talk about this or that. And, and that's it. And Jim signing off.